Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill. Welcome back to some EU4 patch 130. It's 1450 as Burgundy, and we have figured out what to do. I actually was playing a couple days, but I'm dumb. What I've just done is I've just gone and sieged them down. I'm just sieging down Provence, and by sieging down Provence, what's happening is they are less willing to fight, obviously. If I stay here, how long will that take? 29 days. Mm, no, let's just go here. Let's go here. Okay. Actually, yes, do that. One more day, and then we take, and we see what they got. Ooh, yes, it's 40. Okay, release nations, cancel subjects. Uh, give up claims. And one bit of cash. So I'm going to give up all claims there, and I'll just get them myself later. No biggie. And a tiny bit of money. Perfect. Oh, yes, which means that is instantly freed, which means hello. Oh, my God. Okay. Watch this. Obviously, I have a billion loans. What are you doing? Going the wrong way, mate. You're going the wrong way. They're forced to go back home. Oh dear. What are you doing? Please stop. You're killing me. Oh my god, why are they doing this to me? I have to wait. Gotta wait for them to get over here first. Maybe peace out? Absolutely not. No way. Because I want Paris, my friend. I want Paris. Is France on four? They're not on four, which means I might actually be able to win this. Come on. Good. And it's dessert. Okay, so as long as we get there before then, how long will it take? It'll take me uh, 13 days. So as long as there's at least 13 days left of this take, we'll be fine. And away we go. Great. Really wish my other vassals would come and join me. They're, they're just refusing to. Holland is just being a douche. What are you doing, Holland? Yeah, fine. Put them on, let's put them on aggressive. Let's put them on aggressive. Why not? Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to get there on the 27th and 28th. They're going to get on the 30th. And they have to go all the way around. Straight away, eight each. Three equal kills right now, but we have the numerical supremacy. Yes, a thousand. There it is. That's the good stuff, guys. The shock bonus that we've got here. Ah, oh, it's the stuff. Okay. So we killed seven thousand and lost six thousand. So very good. Oh, this is... And we can take Paris. We can take Paris. Oh, okay. I'm not going to be taking Valois because we can claim them ourselves. Because once we've got King of the Franks, as long as I own eight provinces, I can then... And I also have more subject development. So I currently have 314. Okay, and I need to get... Okay. Maybe get Troy too. Yeah, so basically I want to do this mission in time for the next war, and it's going to obliterate my diplo relations, but I don't even care. I don't even care. Because I would immediately gain King of the Franks. Would I become the new French person? Break the power of the French king and take its title and domains for ourselves. Oh my god, that'd be so good. <laughs> okay, but I have to have 18 provinces. I need to own 18 provinces. If only they lost that. Okay. So I need to take four. I need... No, I need to take eight, really. So yes, I know. I When I click this, I get his vassals, right? I get any vassal who has 50 more, more, more opinion than 50. So currently that's Armagnac, Avignon, Louis, uh, Foy, and Orléans. Yeah, you sneak his vassals and I instantly take them, which is amazing. But I can't do that until I have 18 provinces, right? 
I can get four by taking Lorraine and Provence. So I need to take four from him. So I might... Ah, but I, I also need Paris. Yeah. This might suck. So let's do the smallest amount of war score possible. Batois. No. No. Damn. Bloy. I have a claim on it. What? I have a claim on Bloy. Eh? Yeah, there's a lot of real potential you can do here. Oh, it's because I have claims on the whole area, isn't it? Okay. Okay, what kind of aid does that give me? It's 98. That's so much. Bro, I can't do that. So it would have to be two wars. Ah! Oh! King of the Franks! Oh no, so yeah, I'd have to... Yeah, owned by you or your non-tributary subjects. In that area. Oh, including Savoy, actually. So they are part of the Empire. And Austria wouldn't join, because they've rivaled them. Okay. How do I get claims onto that? I can get... Okay. So, that's interesting. So there might be a way to get around this. It's included English clay. Yes, but I've allied England. I've damn well allied them, haven't I? <sighs> Don't really want to betray my English lands, but... Brittany! I could declare war for Brittany. Yeah. Oh, they're allied to Castile. No. Damn. Damn, they're allied to Castile. It's it's possible, though. But one thing we could do is we could try to take the Savoyan land and just claim it. So let's start claiming that. Ah, oh, it's really annoying how much AE that gives you, though. Is there anything we can do? To reduce that. Don't think so. You could try to vassalize Provence, then you get a few more provinces. Mate, I'm no I am not gonna be able to vassalize Provence. They're huge. Like that'd be so much AE. Would it be? Would it be? Hmm, 50% AE, the liberation of vassals, and enforced vassalage. Oh. <laughs> okay, when's the truce up? I have to wait nine years. Maybe take Troy to leave a corridor between realms. Yeah, I have to take Troy. I don't want to have to do a second war. This is the problem. I do not want to do a second war. I have to have Paris. But regardless, I can't do it anyway. So let's just let's let's stop dicking around. Let's uh, let's go. Let's continue this fight. Okay. Some tricky stuff. Wait, where's the mercenary leader? There he is. Okay, good. Don't forget to kill the Arsene between Provence and France, yeah. I hope they don't come back there. Okay. I also could start to annex the Nevers soon. Damn the AE though. Oh, that's why I got the last shock, because of land leader shock bonus, nice. This is hard. This is tricky. I also need to make sure to take Paris before England takes them. I also need to make sure to del delete the treaty. Ah, oh, this is tricky. This is really tricky. We could tr maybe, yeah, I think maybe we could vassalize. We could vassalize province. We could vassalize province in nine years time, as long as they're still excommunicated. And he should be. You get the strong dungeon modifier? No, I don't. 
Uh, I haven't really done any modifiers. I actually haven't really been doing a huge amount with them, to be honest. Has at least two vassals and marshes. Okay, so that would actually give me more diplomatic relations. That is actually a really good idea. Because, yeah. But I need to have two vassals on marches. That's why I haven't got it yet. We can turn this off now. Ah, uh, is Castile rival to France? Nope. Damn. Damn. Ages ago, I got begun in conquest achievement and can feel paying through low manpower and two bloods. I know, the two diplos are killing me. This is hard. And that alone gets me a lot of AE. Wow, that gets me a ton. I might have to wait then. Paris and Reims. And a null treaty with Provence. Okay. Paris and Reims. In nine years time. Declare on Provence. For vassalization. Vassalize Provence. And then get the mission. Because that would then be 18 provinces. Because I'll gain two. So that would be 12. Ah, but I wouldn't have more... Yes, subject development. And then I would get Provence, which is four, five, six provinces. Wait, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six provinces. Okay, so as long as they don't lose any provinces, I can take Reims and I can take Paris. I can then do that as soon as I have more dev than them. But in fact, I'm going to already get a swing of 39 dev. Uh, which will make their dev 39 less, so it'll be 4, 341, and mine 39 more, so it'll be 353. So I'll already be there! Yeah, I'll already be there. That's fine. I'll already have it. Yeah, you can vassalize Provence. Kingus, what's up, my lovely sub? How you doing, my friend? Yes! Okay. That would then mean I could immediately grab that. Pretty much instant instantly. So I wouldn't have to fight another war. Okay, I just need this then. I need to annul their treaty with Provence so they won't join in that bloody war. And... <laughs> I could actually make them give another province to France if I really want to try and do something. See you later, Mitch. I will DM you, okay, buddy? Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, I can't do that, so that's fine. Uh, I mean, money would help too. But let's see what we get once we finish this siege. Okay, here we go. I mean, they don't have a lot of men left. They got about, They have fewer men than I do. Neapolitan session, we shall follow his last testament. Naples becomes independent. Fantastic. Men are coming back. Orleans has 6,000. Is that a river? To bury? It is. Go that way, and then that way. Okay. What are you doing? Go away. Okay, now we're going to get another chance to get a little bit of a kill here. Great, and boom. Swish and flicker, as it were. Into January, uh, so it's only four days march in between combats. The war score for promise of vassalizing works out, but it's 50% because he's excommunicated. Exactly. Giving a cord, make sure that he doesn't re-ally. Um, it doesn't matter because my truce with Provence is up in nine, in eight years, and when I annul that, that would give them a fight, a ten-year truce. So that's fine. Okay, or two. Lovely. I can't give him a call because I don't have the forts. As long as Provence does not lose anything, we'll be fine. Okay. Looks good. Back you go. Christ. Please hurry up and finish that siege. Oh, it's so good. Come on, baby, come on. You can do this. Oh, we just won a small naval battle, it seems. Now, I mean, the problem is, of course, that we have one... Actually, it's only 125. It's not actually a lot of loans. 
Whoops, that was not a loan I should have paid off. Whoops, because now I'm going to get a real loan. Holland's actually working because I put them on aggressive. And that was the trick. I needed to put them on aggressive. And the thing is, we are still getting ticking war scores. So the longer we can stay in this war, the better. Okay, go down here. This is going fine. We now grab this tech here. Church. Good. And there's the Siege of Dijonese. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yes. Okay. Paris and Reims to Burgundy. I really wish I could do this. But I can't because I need a thousand more. But. And I can annul treaties. You should shift consolidate before battles went limp. But true. But I don't really want to get rid of a lot of stuff. Actually, I'm over force. I'm actually over force limp. Limit, so. I do want to do that. Consolidate. Yay. Great. Hey, look at that. I'm back to force limit. Okay. That's incredible. Now we wait. Now we wait because there's no reason for me to not stay in this little fight. You're doing well. Break the French back with reparations and cash. I do very much want to do that, yes. Don't forget about the fact that 6,000 of the men you see here are not actually here. So they only have 25,000 because they're disloyal. Uh, war exhaustion is a little bit annoying. But yeah, theirs is 9, which is great. I'd be tempted to try and siege this, but I need to wait until I know I won't die. Uh, I'm going to be forced to take even more loans, unfortunately. But we're still getting ticking war score, which is great. Oh, here they come. Where are you going? The House of Du Bourbon. Okay. An heir to the throne of 454. Ooh. Tell me more. Ooh. Okay. I'm just going to call him Louis. That seems fine to me. No, we're going to call him Ron. Because <laughs> then we're always going to be Ron Burgundy. Alright, where are you going? Yeah, that's what I thought. And there's the Siege of Nevedis. Which means we can just grab this. And we have even more we can grab. We can grab war reps. And a big pile of money. I actually do kind of need to win this war on the sooner end of things. Yeah, I will still get money later. But at least maybe I have a nice air for a little while, you know. Okay, great. Looking good. Okay, we're going to take those two provinces, because I can't take any more. If I tried to take Troy, everyone gets really mad at me, and I can't handle that. We're going to take Troy, they're going to end their alliance with Provence, they're going to give me war reparations. I can actually, I can make them cancel subjects, but there's no reason to do that, because I very much want them to not do that. I think I might just peace out now. The sooner the better, really. Oh, come on, don't be like this. Let's just get a little bit of cash. There we go. Great. We siege everything down. We get Pet Reims and Petty, which we need. Then in eight years' time, we will attack Provence. War reps instead of cash. I have war reps as well. I already have war reps. That's good. I like this peace treaty. It keeps me strong, keeps me powerful. Gives me a little bit of time to get my manpower back up as well. Let's go. I think. What if France integrates vassals before you complete that mission, speaking in general? Then you just don't get the benefits of it. But I should they shouldn't be able to, because they can be so disloyal. Okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. That's really good. That is so good. Okay, immediately chuck it all down. Immediately turn all this off. And go home. That is just fantastic. And I straight away want to get something like... I mean, we could get trade, but... I want to get an... Ah, oh, come on, give me an advisor. I can only get a one. I'm so over. Almost 50 power projection. I know, it sucks. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, in terms of the mercs, I should probably get rid of them now. Okay. 
I'm actually trapped here again. Maybe scornfully insult. Ooh, that's not a terrible idea. Who else is our rival? Um, Estelle Provence. Yeah. Ah, oh, it doesn't work. I'm not getting a thingy. It's annoying. Ah, oh, it's not giving me power protection. Damn. Alright, where's my boy? So the thing is, is that the actual amount he costs me is very little. Well, actually he's always four maidens, isn't he? Currently it is 0.49. Yeah, I tried them all, that was it. I'm tempted to... What did you guys think? Do you think I should keep my my perks? Now, my interest payments are obviously pretty high. Let's get rid of some of this. Disband, keep. Disband, keep. Yeah, this is the problem. They're, they're kind of good. Aren't, it is good. But I have to, I'm going to be at peace now for eight years. Up autonomy to avoid the rebels. Oh, crap. I've just realized I'm trapped. I think it's going to be a disband, yeah. Alright, move the community to the game. You know I'm going to pay the merchant. Single merchant company will be able to be hired until 58. That's fine. Great. And when's the rebels? Lot of Celtics in 75. French separatists in 6 years. Champagne in 7 years. So that's fine. I'm hemorrhaging money. Uh, it's not too bad right now. Okay. That's pretty good. New mercenary companies available. Free companies. Blah, blah, blah. For some reason I can only get plus ones, which is really annoying. The Merc upkeep is completely changed. The whole system is just different now. Come on, let me... Let me have things. I wonder if I should go admin focus to try and get enough bloody points to do things. I'm tempted to go admin focus because I re they just it's not giving me an advisor and I cannot afford him. So I'm going to have to go admin focus. Ah, I like a Diplo. It hurts. Yeah, Francis is very balkanized. Alright, that's it for this guys. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you like the series so far. I was Aldrag on TV. This has been some E4. This is going super well. Bye-bye.